Hey guys, I'm Jake from Star Wars Proc Shop, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the EE4 from Star Wars Proc. So the main components of this blaster are a piece of one and a quarter inch PVC, which runs the entire length of the gun from here to here, and then we added cardboard on top of it. So these, this scope right here is half inch PVC, and these little energy cells are also half inch. Those we glued right on, and the body, main body part we dremeled to shape. Starting with the front of the blaster, we have um, this spot with sort of T-grips, um, T-grip-ish shapes. So how we made these T-grips is that um, we made the uh, little T-shape, we put some glue in between, we squished it together in the vise, and then we let it cool. So as I said before, you're going to want to get your cardboard, and you're going to fold it into this little T-shape, and then you're going to put some glue in the middle of it, and then put it in a vise and wait for it to cool. When it's dry, you're going to take it out and you're going to glue it to your blaster. And as you can see, this is how we made all the ridges on the front of the blaster. We did that leaving a little um, piece of PVC with nothing in between to make this little section. And this we just took a silver sharpie and uh, drew all that um, silver in later. So this we actually just smudged it up. We drew like a little squiggle, then smudged up with our fingers. And yeah, this cone part at the front, um, we actually got some duct tape, rolled it up into a cone-ish shape, and then we just stuck it on there and put a piece around it. And as you can see, there's a little bit of PVC sticking out the front too. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we got a piece of rolled up cardboard and put it right here um, on top of the PVC. So that gave it a little bit more depth, and it piece actually um, went onto the foregrip that we made out of cardboard. Um, it's kind of like a boxy shape, so we just glued the cardboard in the right shape, put some reinforcement in, and called it a day. Then we glued these little energy cylinder things in. I'm not sure what they really are in the game, but they're just little cylinders with some detail on them made out of cardboard. And we just glued those right onto the piece of cardboard we had on earlier. Next what we did was we worked on the grip. We just used reference pictures to get this main part. Um, and then what we did was uh, put the trigger in and then built everything up around it. So this, I'm not sure what the width is, but uh, that's, uh, I'd say about half an inch. But then we added a piece on top of that to just give it a little depth. And then we made this little hammer. So um, that's just a bunch of pieces of cardboard laid on top of each other just to give it some uh, thickness. And what we did at the end was we made a little cardboard end cap and then put all these little layers of cardboard with a tiny bit of in between to make the grill texture. Finally, what we did was put the scope on and this is secured with these little um cardboard uh strips that go from the scope onto the main body and it's pretty much just a piece of pvc with some cardboard detailing on both sides and these little tubes that we put on the last thing that we did was add all the greeblies paint it and then weather it so we did that with a uh, silver sharpie just you know like Put them all the corners, like with this thing. Blah. Yeah, greeblies, and like yeah, weather greeblies. That's how you build stuff. Anyways, guys, that concludes this overview of our EE4 blaster. If you want us to show a more in-depth tutorial on how to build it, please comment down below. And until next time, may the force be with you, and happy building.